Hi, I'm John from Oxidation Technologies, and today I want to talk about using a flow meter, uh, the standard rotometer flow meter, uh, to measure the flow of a gas uh, and correct for pressure. So right here I've got a picture of two identical flow meters. The oxygen gas is flowing into the bottom of this one, up through the tube, and you can see the little uh, ball in there that it's pushing up, and it's measuring here a flow of 26 SCFH, standard cubic feet per hour of oxygen. Uh, taking that same oxygen, flowing it down to the bottom of this flow meter, uh, this one I'm using the needle valve to restrict flow um, to create back pressure. So this, this one is under 20 psi pounds per square inch of pressure. This one is under zero pressure. Uh, so it's the same volume of gas that's flowing through both of them, but you can see on uh, this flow meter that the little ball is being pushed all the way up to 40 SCFH of oxygen. And so the question is, well, which one, which one is correct? Or are they both correct? Um, they're both correct, uh, but when, you, when you're measuring gas under pressure, you need to compensate to, uh, there's a calculation to correct for pressure. You can get uh, flow meters that are already calibrated for a specific pressure. Uh, the flow meters that we use here at Oxidation Technologies, since it's a, it's a range of pressures, they're all calibrated for atmospheric. So this one is giving you a correct reading. Um, this one can be used just fine as long as we correct for pressure. So the equation that you use to correct for pressure, you can either do it longhand, uh, there are calculators available as well, um, but the corrected flow, the actual flow, is going to equal whatever you measure, that first meter was measuring lower, times the square root of the, the PSI plus 14.7, all divided by 14.7. 14.7 is the pressure of one atmosphere of, of pressure. So we measured 26, we put in, it was uh, 20 PSI, if you run the calculation, uh, 20 plus 14.7 divided by 14.7, you get 2.36. Take the square root of that, uh, it's 1.536. Multiply that by the measured flow, and you get 39.94, which is about exactly what it was showing on that second flow meter. We've got the same, you know, this is the same formula on our website. Uh, you go to um, our website under ozone calculations and uh, you'll find a calculator here you put in your measured flow your pressure and it'll calculate it for you and doing that it is very important to know exactly what the flow is um, here's a third method you can use a chart something like this over on the left hand this is the flow that you're uh, reading it, it goes by fives, but it was around 25. Our pressure was 20 psi, and again, the chart will give you nearly 40 SCFH of flow. And it is important, an accurate flow is essential to diagnose low oxygen purity from oxygen concentrators. Uh, if they're exceeding their flow limit, it can damage the concentrators. Uh, and uh, to get accurate calculations of ozone production from an ozone generator, it's important to know exactly what the flow is and uh, be able to calculate and, and use a flow meter properly to get a correct measurement. Uh, so I hope this is helpful. Uh, there are a number of different ways you can get this. Uh, if you've got questions, you can check out our website or give us a call. Thank you.